Hi, Jeff here with Corsair. Today we're going to demonstrate how to replace a power supply. It's something that even intermediate PC users can do, and knowing how to replace a power supply can save you the money you might otherwise spend taking your PC in for repair or simply replacing it. But even if you're not replacing a failed power supply, you might want to upgrade because you're adding more components to your PC and you're hitting the limits of your current power supply, or you might simply want the money-saving, energy efficiency, and quiet, reliable operation of a Corsair power supply. The PC we're upgrading is a Dell Inspiron. It has a basic 250 watt OEM power supply and onboard graphics. So we figure that while we have it open, we'll add a high performance graphics card too. We're installing a Gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce GTX 570. It's a very capable graphics accelerator, so it needs a lot of power. NVIDIA recommends a power supply of 600 watts or greater. The 250 watt power supply that's standard on this PC just won't do. For this demonstration, we're using Corsair's Enthusiast Series TX650 V2. It's a fan favorite because it's highly efficient, it has tight voltage regulation to deliver clean, reliable power, and it has plenty of power cables for PCs with lots of components. This Enthusiast Series model delivers up to 650 watts of power. If you're not sure how much current you need, you can use the PSU Finder at Corsair.com. Since you may be using your next power supply for several years, it's a good idea to consider not only the components you're using now, but which you might also add in the future. The first important step is to read the Quick Start Guide. It contains important safety instructions, and as with any product, it's a good idea to read through all the installation steps before you begin. The next step is to remove your PC's power cable. Next, we remove all the power cables that connect your old power supply to the motherboard and all the other components. And now we use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the old power supply. Before we go further, we'll snap the new graphics card into the PCI Express slot. Now we'll install the new Corsair power supply. Of course, we don't connect the AC power cable yet. The first cable to connect is the main 24 pin power cable. This is commonly known as the ATX cable. Next, we connect the 8-pin 12-volt cable. This one is popularly known as the CPU cable. If your motherboard only has 4 pins, this cable splits right down the middle and can be used as a 4-pin cable as well. Next, we install the power cables for the optical drive, hard drive, and media card reader that came with the Inspiron. Depending on the age of your components, your drives will use 4-pin peripheral cables or the smaller serial ATA cables. Just look at the power connectors on your drives and the choice will be easy. The last ones to connect are the PCI Express cables. Basic PCI Express graphics cards don't require a power connection and many require only one, but the powerful GTX 570 requires two. After all the cables are connected, it's a good idea to quickly double check that each of the cables is connected securely to its socket. That's it. The installation took just about five minutes. Thanks for watching.